Hey, it's Drew DiOrsi, and I'm so excited to have you here with me for this video because this video has the potential of dramatically transforming your body in the most profound way possible as long as you apply the things you learn. And it's not just you who will benefit from this video, but your friends and your family and the people you love and this entire planet will greatly benefit from you acquiring this knowledge and applying it into your life immediately. So I'm so excited to have you here. Now at the end of this video, if you want to learn more information on how to really take your fat loss to the next level so you can build the body of your dreams this year, then I will show you how to do that. But without further ado, let's talk about whether or not eating organic will help you when it comes to fat loss. Okay, so let's begin the deep work. Can eating organic help you burn fat? Now, by the end of this video, you are going to better understand the key differences between organic produce versus commercially farmed produce and how depending on which kind of side of the fence you're on, depending on what you're consuming more of will greatly determine the way your body feels, the way your body performs, the way your body looks, okay? So I wanted to start this off with um, one of my all-time favorite quotes. The food you eat can be either the safest and the most powerful form of medicine or the slowest form of poison, okay? We see it today. People are getting bigger and bigger. Um, they're getting more and more depressed. They're getting more and more tired. Um, the cognitive function is slowing down. Their ability to focus is dwindling. And if we were to take a holistic perspective as to why this is happening, we would always come back to the one question, what are you eating? And the reason we would come back to that one question is because you are what you eat. You see, within mere hours of putting, of putting food or liquid into your mouth, that food begins replacing your cells somewhere in your body. That is to say, your entire body is the byproduct of what you eat and drink. Your health, your vitality is the byproduct of what you eat and drink. And you probably already knew that, but did you know that the health of the plant that you are consuming also greatly influences the way your body responds to eating that plant? That is to say, if you are eating a sick plant, a plant that is full of toxic residue, then you can expect to eventually get sick if you're consuming that plant a lot, okay? If you are eating healthy plants, you can expect to get healthy if you're eating those healthy plants a lot. It's really that simple. Now, what makes a food organic or produce organic versus commercially farmed, okay? We're just talking about plants here. If you wanna learn more about um, animals and pasture-raised and the difference between pasture-raised and, and um, caged and X, Y, Z, um, when it comes to animals, perhaps I'll do a video about that one, but we're talking about plants right now. And organic produce is grown without the use of toxic pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and chemical fertilizers. And we'll talk about what those are here in a moment. And because there are no harmful chemicals on organic produce, the plant is far healthier than its commercially farmed counterpart. And if you eat that healthier plant, you can expect to be healthier yourself. It's really that simple. But I'll explain um, the kind of confusing part to it here in a moment because so many people, for some reason, still can't get on the train of eating organic, okay? This video will convince you otherwise. And I'm not convincing you because it's my opinion, I'm convincing you with the truth, okay? Commercially farmed food is grown with the use of toxic pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and chemical fertilizers. And because there are plenty of harmful chemicals known to cause serious chronic elements, ailments like cancer and heart disease and Alzheimer's, etc., the list goes on and on. It's mind-boggling, mind-boggling as you get deeper into the research here, okay? Because commercially farmed foods have all of these bad toxic residues, um, it creates dis-ease within your body. And to give you an example okay, of what happens uh, with these plants when they're being grown, um, if an organic crop of tomatoes were to be attacked by a hornworm, which is a common 
um, bug that eats and destroys tomatoes, the organic farmer would either manually pick off the hornworms or it would use natural, non-toxic sprays like essential oils, okay? Whereas the commercially farmed farmer would just spray a bunch of synthetic and toxic chemical pesticides everywhere, killing the hornworm while simultaneously poisoning the soil and the genetic makeup of the tomato. It's very important that you understand that these sprays, these toxic sprays that are knowingly causing serious cognitive issues, metabolic issues, they're being sprayed in the soil and the plant is feeding off of the soil. You and I are a byproduct of what we eat. The plant is a byproduct of what it eats. And if it's eating soil that is full of toxins, then it itself is going to be genetically predisposed to some very, very bad conditions. Now, what are these sprays, these chemical fertilizers? Well, they're man-made compounds that are designed to kill any life form other than the growing plant itself. Okay, it's designed to kill the bugs, the bacteria, rodents, etc. Okay, it's designed to kill all germs. And you and I are a byproduct of a bunch of germs, right? You and I are germs. Um, now, this spray helps the farmer grow and sell more produce, and it's good for them. But they're spraying so much. They say that 280 million pounds of glyphosate are applied to crops every single year. And many people are coming out with the conclusion that and there's plenty of science to back this up and you can do your own research that many of the large fires that we've experienced um, over the past year or so are the byproduct of the fact that so much of our land, okay, 500 plus million acres of our land is sprayed with this very flammable uh, toxin. But that's aside from this story. But um, I just wanted to share with you some photos of people spraying these toxins. The people who spray these toxins are wearing hazmat suits. They can't even breathe it. They, they wear goggles, they wear gloves, they wear masks. Every inch of their body is covered up because if this spray touches their skin or if they inhale it or if it gets into their eyes, they're going to be in excruciating, excruciating pain. And then they logically just walk away out of those hazmat suits. They let the chemicals dry. And then all of a sudden, it's okay to eat. It's, it's mind-boggling if you really try to contemplate it like that. People who spray the toxins will not get, they won't get anywhere near it. They'll have caution signs that will say, pesticide spraying in process, proceed at your own risk. That's insane. And then they feed it to us like it's not going to do anything to us. Um, and a lot of people think it, it still doesn't do anything to us, Drew. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy that organic food is better than commercially farmed food. But, and the reason they say that is because they think um, you can just wash it off. You can wash off the toxins. But that's not true. Remember that vegetables and fruit have roots that they use to absorb nutrients in order to grow. Okay, you know that. And when you spray synthetic pesticides on and around these plants, these pesticides go into the soil where they're absorbed by the roots of the plant. Now, once this happens, the pesticide, okay, becomes embedded in the edible flesh of the plant. Okay, you are, you are what you eat, so is a plant. Now, this cannot be washed or peeled off. It's literally a part of the whole plant at that point, and every bite you take exposes you to this pesticide. Okay, so if you're buying commercially farmed produce and you're giving it to the people you love, your children, your parents, you are filling them up with toxins. And that's a, that once you actually wrap your head around that, it's a no-brainer to make the shift. Now, now, why is this important for you to understand? Well, it's important for you to understand for a couple reasons. When you buy organic foods, you avoid toxic chemicals. Okay, that's very important. When you buy non-organic foods, you can be rest assured that you are poisoning your body with a wide variety of toxins. And why is it important to be avoiding toxins? Well, because our body is being overloaded with too many toxins. And when that happens, we cannot burn fat. When that, when that happens, our body is just so confused. You see, our bodies are naturally designed to handle a certain amount of toxins, okay? We're designed to handle toxins. And the body does an incredible job of processing these toxins and keeping them out of vital systems. 
The lungs, the large intestine, your skin, your kidneys, and especially the liver all contribute to detoxify the body, neutralizing toxins and excreting them, getting rid of them. However, when overloaded with too many toxins, which happens when you consistently are eating commercially farmed plants, these systems can no longer keep up and the toxins will back up in the body. Now, when this happens, your body's safety mechanism, listen to this, your body's safety mechanism is to begin storing incoming nutrients as fat so that it has a safe place to direct these toxins so they don't immediately impact the internal organs. If these toxins went right into your internal organs, you're going to experience some serious, serious side effects. So as a safety mechanism, your body begins to store fat. So it has a safe place to place these toxins into your fat. Now, when stored like this, the body is reluctant to lose fat because doing so releases the toxins into the body, which will force the liver and the kidneys to work overtime, potentially burning them out and causing chronic problems that are so prevalent in today's society. And this is also explaining why people can go on extreme diets where they're eating quote unquote healthy food, but it's all full of commercially farmed plants and they still struggle to lose weight. And the reason this happens is because their body is trying to keep them alive. They have too many toxins in their body. And the solution is really, really simple. Stop adding more toxins to your body so that your body can recuperate and properly detoxify. And this can be done by making the switch from non-organic to organic produce. You will notice a major shift in your energy state and also in your ability to burn fat once you commit to eating organic food as often as you possibly can. And you will notice crazy, crazy awesome results probably within the first month of that transition, giving your body enough time to recuperate. So you can really expect your fat loss to be taken to the next level when you make this shift. Um, and again, it's not good just for you. It's good for the planet. Okay. We don't want to keep spraying toxins all over this planet. Now, the truth here is most people would rather spend their money on driving a nice car than investing in healthy food. And that's really a shame. That's just shows shows us um, where our priorities are. Now, if your priority is in living a healthy life and you care about the people you love, then you're gonna wanna feed them organic food knowing that if you're feeding them commercially farmed food, you're literally filling them up, their body up with toxins. And you can only, you can only keep excreting toxins for so long, eventually the body just gets overworked. Um, now, 5.7% of food sold in the United States is organic um, and that's, Primarily because nobody's buying it, okay? If we start to kind of put our foot down and we demand, I'm only going to eat organic, well, then the big food manufacturers, they want to make more money. So they'll they'll start changing their ways so that they are able to satisfy the customer. Um, so we need all, we, all of us together need to start buying more organic. So um, the world is in a better place, quite frankly. And let it be known that the, the devil wears Prada, okay? Most food manufacturers market their food as quote unquote all natural or clean or sugar free. And this is all just a brilliant ploy to cash in on the lack of understanding most consumers have about nutrition. So when you're buying, um, when you're buying anything packaged or when you're buying produce, you're looking for a USD organic. You're looking for non-GMO project verified. And what you can't see underneath my little video, it says locally grown. If you can go that far, that's going to help um, create a really, really diverse community around you where the farmers in your neighborhood are crushing it. And obviously that's very important, okay? Now, if you want more information, hold on. If you want more information, you can um, come talk to me about my one-on-one -on -one private mentorship program where I specialize in helping people who want to burn fat and build the body of their dreams by showing them how to develop a unique eating plan that fits their unique biological needs. And not only that, it's making this world a better place, my friend. Okay, it's not just about us, it's about all of us. And you know that, okay? And that's why this is resonating with you. You can you can learn more about my one-on-one -on -one private mentorship program by going to drewdiorcy.com slash bodylifemastery or just simply by clicking the link underneath the video description that you're watching and um, we can start talking about how it would look like for us to work together or if you just want some 
some guidance, just simply check it out. It's really, really valuable to anybody looking to level up their health um, and their understanding of nutrition and um, take their fat loss to the next level. And again, thank you so much for watching this. If you want a video on the difference between um, commercially farmed animals versus pasture raised versus farm raised versus um, caged, cage free, free range, if you want more information on what all of that entails, just let me know. I'd be happy to do that. Um, if not, I'll just keep creating some awesome content for you guys to help level up your mind and your body. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm out. I honor you. I respect you. Bye now.